the last episode of Arm Wrestle Sim, we got insanely far. We actually got ourselves to the newest area. Finally, we're in the dinosaur area. Well, not right this second, but like uh, eventually I am. So we just we just have to like walk all the way over there. But we beat the mutant king. We made it to the new area. And now all we got to do is uh, grind a little bit more so we can beat the mammoth. Now, we don't even have to beat the mammoth yet because the new area is not out, but I'm sure this upcoming Saturday it will be out. So we got to get ready for it right now. Now we're in this area with max rebirths. We have 11 super rebirth buffs. And if you could tell, we got some insane pets. Now we did open a bunch of blueprints. We opened a bunch of the lucky draws. We got so many blueprints and we ended up getting a bunch of these new pets. But these pets are even better. The dinosaur pets are even better here. And I've gotten so many mythics. I don't know how I'm getting so lucky, but I'm literally getting so many mythics. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and open this a bunch of times, this best egg, which is going to cost some Robux. I'm not looking forward to it because I don't really have that much Robux left but you know what we gotta do what we gotta do to become op so if you guys are excited make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you're new all that stuff helps me greatly and uh we just got 105 sx for that no big deal now we go buy so i'm pretty sure this is the best egg this is like the second best this is the best one right here so the gem t-rex is the most op one and i have no gem t-rexes I don't, I don't think i've gotten any of them but the gem triceratops this mythic for some reason i'm hatching it like every single time i don't know if like my game's glitched or i'm just getting super lucky but like i'm hatching it like every single time as i auto open right here it's actually not showing me what pet it's giving me but i'm pretty sure i'm just hatching it so it's kind of insane so Oh, there we go. We opened a bunch. I don't really have that much uh, that much wins left. We might have to buy more, but let's see what we just got. So craft all, craft all, and equip. Look at that. So now my worst pet, my worst pet ever is this huge quest dragon baby, which is insane. It's a 100,000 multiplier, and it's my worst pet. My best being these voids, and I got so many of them. Huge void pets at 50. 560,000. I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So I'm looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and uh, first of all, I, I forgot about this strength boost thing. It's like every minute you get like a strength boost or something. And I got this up to like 24% before. So that was really cool that you can just stay in game and get a boost the longer you stay in. I left the server and then came back. So my boost is restarted. So that's kind of sad. But let's go ahead and buy more wins so we can buy that again. I want to get a full team of these dino pets, an entire full team and see how much I'm getting when I train. Max rebirths, max best team. <laughs> I literally have huge voids. I don't know, like, am I just stupid or like, am I glitching the game? Like, how am I getting this 20% pet every single time? I don't think I've gotten any of these. Like, I think I'm literally just hatching the mythic. So I, I don't know why, but I'm hatching the mythic on loop. And look, it's not showing me the pet I'm hatching for some reason. And when I auto open, but it's just giving me the mythic every single time. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I'm not going to say that I don't want it. I'm pretty happy about it. So let's just auto open until I have none left, which I almost already have none left. And then we're going to craft and equip. And I think we'll have an entire team of just the gem triceratops, which is insane. I got traded one of those pets like a few videos ago, and it made my team insane. There we go. Yeah, we have nothing left. We have no wins left. So now we go here. We craft all. We craft all again, craft all again, just to make sure, quit best. And oh my gosh, I literally have almost an entire full team of the best version of it, the Mythic Void, which is crazy. Gem Stegosaurus. So I have been getting some of these, the Gem Stegosaurus. I have actually been getting some of these. So that's okay. So when it's auto opening, it's opening eight at a time and it's not showing me what I'm getting. So I am getting a bunch of these, but I'm just getting so many Gem Triceratops that it's, it's helping. I'm not only getting that. I see. So if you look down here, here's gem triceratops that aren't even good enough to be equipped. These are not even good enough to be equipped. 280,000. My worst pet now is a gem triceratops at 280,000. So I have a full team of OP dino pets. That is insane, but we're not done. We're going to buy another 100 SX wins because I want to get a full team of the void huge, a full team of this pet, <laughs> which is literally, I almost have it like that's insane. Look how good these pets are. They're so much better than what I had before. So let's uh let's open this auto one last time. I don't think I'm getting any gem T-Rexes. I'm pretty I'm pretty far off from that. We're going to have a full team of the gem triceratops void 
mythic huge and or the big version or no it's the huge version and then we're gonna start training and see how much i get now i don't know the best training regimen here but i know that with hand strength i was getting like 60 trillion before and i'm probably gonna get a lot more than that so let's go ahead and craft craft again craft again just to make sure equip best and there we go oh my gosh i literally have like just a few more slots until i have an absolute full inventory of this pet got to take a screenshot of that got to take a screenshot of the stats because this thing's insane and that is my team can i actually get more equips okay no i can't there you have it there is my team that looks insane it's all just these dinosaurs it's all just these triceratops triceratops so now when i train hands i'm getting 102 trillion per click that's pretty dang big that's at max rebirths best trail possible see equipped bam and not the best arm Arms, but like we're up there in arms should i get more keys by the way i feel like i should let's just do it let's just get 100 keys why not i have some robux left ah this game's getting me to spend so much and i'm not trying to spend so much but it's just so enticing all right we got 100 keys let's open all what do we got here come on oh i i forgot i have to get crates too that's awkward um wait we can buy a bunch of crates wait i, I can buy like infinite crates i forgot i have so many wins i can buy like infinite crates let's just buy a bunch of all of these there we go okay open all what do we got here what do we got here Oh, my arms inventory is full. So we got to delete some. Let's just delete these these really bad ones down here because we really don't need them. And uh, yeah, we'll get rid of all these and we'll start crafting some to make some room. I only have 200 slots here, so it's not like I can open that many at a time. But I want to get an arm that's a little bit better than what I currently have, even though mine's pretty good. All right, we got 100 slots. It's time to open more. Open all. Okay, so we opened almost everything we have and we got, I mean, we have the buff cacti. We only have one of them, but it's just as good as my buff tiger if I upgraded it. It's really not that good. So not really worth it. I'm currently, oh, you know what? I just realized, I think I need a certain amount of knuckle strength to fight this. When I was saying like, oh, why can't I fight this? It's because I need that much knuckle strength, not total strength. So now in my last video, I probably got a bunch of comments about how I'm dumb and I understand. I definitely understand. I am dumb. <laughs> All right, so we have to actually go back and we have to train knuckle strength here. So we have to train that here. And once we get that to 10 QA, we can then train it in the next area at the walls. So that's why I couldn't do it. And 10 QA is kind of a lot. I mean, I'm currently at not even one QA. So we're going to come back to the knuckle strength uh, grinding. That's definitely going to take a while. Should I mutate any of these pets? I really want to, but I don't even want to try it at the same time. Because if I, if I mutate and I lose everything, I will be sad about it. So, but now I know why I can't grind these walls yet. Are these like the best? What's the best way to train in this new area? Let me know in the comment section below. For this one... I need 175 QA of bicep power, I believe. So I can't actually train on like any of these because my bicep power is so weak. And my bicep power is so weak, I can't even train on these. So I'm not sure how much it'll help. But I'm at 1.7 QI, which means I can take out the archaeologist. And my training should be a lot faster on everything that I'm doing now that I have such insane pets. So I guess we have to go back here, which is so annoying. We have to go backwards. And we're going to train biceps. We're going we're gonna to take this dumbbell off and do this one. We're going to train biceps a bunch. I'm getting 214 trillion per lift, but I'm going to let the biceps train a bit so that I can start working out in the other area. And then we'll start getting better bicep power there and we'll have an even higher multiplier, I'm pretty sure. And then I also have to do that for knuckle strength because hand strength, I'm pretty much good. I'm slacking on the other ones. So we're going to have to do a lot of grinding. I'm going to let this go auto AFK for a bit. And once we have uh, pretty insane biceps and knuckle strength. We will go back to the new area, but look at our pets so far. Actually insane. Alrighty, after setting this to auto train for a very long time on biceps and then on knuckle strength, I should be able to train in the best area now. And while I've been doing this, I've actually been opening lucky draw tickets. So uh, I should have a bunch of good blueprints. So let's go back to the new area. We're gonna go here. And now we should be able to destroy this thing. Yes! I am so dumb. I didn't know why that I couldn't destroy it, but now I get it. It's because I had to have a certain amount of knuckle strength. But what the heck is this doing? It's not training knuckle strength. So maybe once you get through to the end of it, it trains? Like, how, how does it work? Do you get more knuckle strength ever? I don't understand. Like, I don't know what's at the end of it, but I really want to see what's at the end of the wall. So uh, we have a couple more walls to break. So let's just let this auto break real quick. And while we were doing it, we got some blueprints. That's what we're looking at. Seven 
Huge silent dominus blueprints. Not too bad. Also not too great. Let's craft. And there we go. We got some more of those. But again, those aren't even that good for me because I have such insane dinosaur pets that are better. Um, but we can also, you know, craft some new quest ones. So there we go. I don't think any of them are equipped. Yep. We just have all gem triceratops. That's all we have. Full team. So my squad is pretty crazy. And we're finally going to break through this. So what's going to happen when we break through this? Do we get a bunch of knuckle strength? Do we get a bunch of wins? Like, what do we actually get? I don't know. I guess we're going to see finally. So let's play, break through. What do we get here? Wait, what? So it just, it just gave me 1.2 QA knuckle strength, which honestly is not that much for how long it took. I get way more in that other area. So it's not worth training right now. Maybe this best one is, is eventually worth training, but it seemed kind of slow for how uh, much it gives you. Maybe once you get like super overpowered, it's the best way to train, but it's not the best way to train for me right now as far as knuckle strength goes. But currently, I'm at seven QI strength. I can almost beat this tribe leader. I think I need 20 QI. 54. Dang. So again, our goal in this video wasn't even to beat the, the main boss here. Our goal was just to make it to this area and get some insane pets. And we and we did. But now we need to uh, just keep on training. Archaeologist we can beat, right? Yeah, we can beat archaeologist now. So easy destruction. He gives us a good amount of wins, but it's not really as much as I can buy. So best amount of rebirths. Max rebirths. One of the best arms in the game. We got insane pets. Probably some of the best pets you can get. If you guys have the number one pet here, if anybody has this, this T-Rex, I would like to see it. I would like to see how good it is. At least like tweet it at me or something. Or I haven't been on Twitter in a while, but find me somewhere and show me how good that thing is because I want to know how good it is. <laughs> but here we are in the best area with some of the best pets in the game. Best trail. We're, we're, we're doing our thing. And we're somehow back to Golden League. I don't know how. I haven't even done this league grind in a while and I'm somehow back to golden league. Let's see if I can just beat somebody random. Let's fight him. You ready for this? Wait, did it glitch? I hit fight and I, I didn't even fight him, bro. What the, what the heck happened? I don't know. Maybe this thing is broken right now. Maybe it just doesn't want me to fight because it knows I'm too strong. I can also train here. So I can train uh, this one. Yep. So I can train this 37 trillion a second. That's still not better than the hand grips. The hand grips are still my best training in this area, I think. Because like 135 trillion, that's way more. This is currently my best total strength method but eventually it's probably this one. So let me know in the comments what I should be training, what my goal regimen, training regimen to get the strongest should be in this new area. But for now, we got ourselves to seven QI. We're sage of the ages. We have insane pets, a full team of these. And now I'm actually looking pretty good. This is what I got so far for blueprints. If you have anything on the huge silent dominus, let me know. I don't know if anybody's gotten this yet, but this seems pretty dang rare. I mean, I've opened a bunch of lucky draws. I've done so many of them. The chances of getting these point 0.5% for one and 0.1% per, for two. It's not likely. So I, I probably got this five times and it's just, it's not looking good as far as that guy. And he's not even that good. Like even if I got this as a huge pet, I don't even think it'd be better than my uh, Triceratops. So this is like the way to go for sure. Let me see if I have any more to craft. We don't. So we're all set. The next thing I need to do is basically go. I need to mutate some of these, but I also need to go back to the beach, not the beach. I need to go back to the area before this and I need to enchant some of these guys. I need to make some pet teams where one of my pet teams just has like more wins or something or best friends, something like that. And then the rest of them has like lucky so I can start opening like super rare eggs. Because imagine if I got a full team with lucky too, that would be sick. But it costs rebirths, which is so annoying because then I have to re-rebirth and I'm not going to do that. So let me know what I should do in the next episode. Until then, we're going to grind until we can beat this final tier boss, the uh, mammoth, and we'll make it to the next zone. Thank you for watching. I post two videos a day, so make sure you check them out. I've been Russo Plays and I hope you enjoyed. Go watch another video while you're at it and I'll see you next time. Bye!